Hey, what's happening? This is Cooper Anderson. I'm going to go over how to mix an EDM song that you've produced yourself. Um, so the example is DJ Fun Size Daydreaming, which we just finished producing. We actually did the beat last year, but just got an interesting top line into it. So we kind of finished up the track and now I'm going to do a mix on it. So basically I'm going to dive right in. I've already kind of done all the pre-mixing stuff and the session prep, uh, which I can go over in other videos. I have gone over it in a few other videos. And anyway, it's basically, I've ran everything through my UAD processing. So I get the channel strip sound and like some basic EQ on the instruments. And one of the most important reasons to do that is to gain the tracks up so they're a decent level because when I'm using uh, compressors and even EQs and anything really in Pro Tools or any DAW, you wanna make sure you have the maximum amount of level so that you're using all of your bits in the audio file. And uh, I mean, I'm old school, so I've been using 24 bit since the beginning. Now they have 32 bit files, but most of the actual applications are processing at 32 bit floating point. But anyway, that's a whole other discussion. What I'm going to focus now on is just getting this mix together. So I'm going to start by doing the 10 minute rough mix, also known as the two pass rough mix. And I've gone over this before as well, but it's basically you want to put up the faders as quickly as possible and just try to get a, a relative balance of the song. Um, so uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to hit play and uh, just bring up faders as fast as I can and try to get everything sounding in the mix somehow by the end of the second pass. All right, so here we go.
All right, so that was my first pass. Uh, not too bad. I think I got most of the main sounds in there. And one of the reasons you want to do this exercise is, especially if you're not familiar with the track, you want to kind of learn it so you can get a vibe. And uh, so the second time, I'm just going to try to add all the other little parts that I didn't quite get in there that first time and just listen to the track and try to formulate a plan of how I want to mix it. All right, so let's take a listen. Second pass. Great, so that's my second pass, and now you can really get a vibe for the song. It's kind of like an up tempo, um, like summer jam type of thing. Uh, but anyway, so now I kind of have a, uh, a basic sense of the song and kind of what I want to do with it. So now I'm actually going to start over again, and we'll just bring all these back down to zero. And then I'm going to import my mix template. Now this has all of my basic reverbs and delays that I use and my master fader and all that. So I like to have it up when I start a mix so I can, uh, you know, just use, uh, use the stuff that I'm used to uh, pretty easily. All right, so now we have this ready. All right, so let's just, let's just loop uh, one section. Let's try that. I think this is the chorus. So let's try to build up the mix around the kick on this section. Another thing 
to note is that I like to turn the volume up really loud so that I'm not compelled to turn these faders up super loud. And that'll give me plenty of headroom on the master bus, which is important when you're mixing. See like right in here in the room, it's cranking, but if you look on the meter on the master, it's not even that hard. It's only hitting around there. So the reason we have our audio files hot is so that we can afford to like lose a little room when we're going into the mix bus so we don't clip it because mixing is all about gain staging. One of the things on my template is I like to have my standard mastering chain pretty much ready to go. And then I just have it all disabled. Um, the only thing I'm mixing through is this uh, virtual mix bus with the uh, the Brit N or the Neve setting and the Fab Filter Pro Q. And this is like a model of the EQ curve of my analog GML EQ. I wanted to make the snap a lot more prominent because that's what's hot in music right now. So I wanna make sure I don't turn these claps up too loud. Add a little reverb there. That's the Abbey Road plate. And then I'm gonna filter some of this low end out. I was rocking the sub a little hard. We wanna basically take all of the low frequencies that are not supposed to be there out of the mix so they don't interfere with the kick and the bass at all through the track. It's got a little sub stuff on it too, I can hear it. And a cool little trick I like to do on the shakers is you can do the sound toys pan man. And then if you go here and go to the random setting and change it to either eighth or 16th notes, and then turn your width down. This will kind of sound like you're actually like shaking it around. kind of subtle, but it widens it out a little bit. We can actually throw some uh, room reverb on there. This is the Lexicon uh, room plugin.
Same thing that's got a ton of low end on it. Let's find where that loop is. Throw some plate reverb on those. A lot of these sounds already have reverb on them, but it's nice to like add a reverb that's common to the rest of the instruments to kind of give it that gel. And I'm just going through and trying to find the exact place where all these tracks come in so I don't have to sit around waiting. I also like to open up the first level of sends because then you can kind of use this little fader.
So as you can see, I'm not really using that many plugins. I'm mostly using the fab filter to cut low end on certain tracks, but that's about it. And uh, also using my sends to add reverb and kind of wet the things the way I like them in the mix. This pluck is one of the main sounds, so we gotta make sure we treat this properly. I can't really compress it that much because it's already got the pumping effect on it. So I don't want to lose that. So I mostly have to shape it with the EQ. So I just wanted to harsh out, or sorry, get the harsh out of those certain frequencies. So that's what I'm using Pro-Q, uh, the upper bands for here. Um, let's add some of our plate reverb. Same thing in this vocal chop here. Need to get some of those harsh frequencies out. It's kind of a cool, smooth, like analog sound. You can totally hear the difference. It's just like way smoother. And let's hear how it sounds in the track. Might even cut a little bit more of the low end. Got this build up right here. Cool. All right, let's keep moving. It's kind of the same thing, like I. It's already uh, pumped, so I don't want to compress that too much.
Another little trick I've been doing lately is using the isotope neutron, and I've gone over this in other videos, but I mean, the, the thing about this job is, is it's just a lot of rinse and repeat. So uh, let's, let's cut a hole for the vocals, which we haven't added yet, but let's cut a hole for them with isotope. Those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty Dreaming of those summer days doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty Dreaming of those summer days. So basically you link the two instances of Neutron together and then you click masking on the second one and have it use the first one as the guide. So I have the first one as voice one and then we're uh, removing the masking frequencies from the pad. So let's do that on all the main sounds. Hey. Summer day. Don't stop me till it's over. We'll hit the streets and paint the town. Summer days take me back to when we used to be together. Um, this uh, this guitar, I'm actually gonna make mono and kind of redo the sound a little bit because I think it was actually panned le uh, right in the um, in the plugin that generated it. So let's try the Waves guitar. I mean the CLA guitars. This is a classic guitar sound for me. Dreaming of those summer days Take me back to when we used to be together And how we heard the music play This time around I know we're gonna do it better I really love that chubby. It's great. Um, and let's do the same thing. Let's, uh, let's uh, remove the masking frequencies of Neutron. Dreaming of those summer days Take me back to when we used to be together And how we heard the music play This time around I know we're gonna do it better It'll be a Dreaming of those summer days Take me back to when we used to be together And how we heard the music play this time around, I know we're gonna do it better. Dreaming of those summer days. Take me back to when we used to be. 
All right, so let's get a nice vocal chain together. Um, we already have the Neutron, which uh, is kind of cool. Dreaming of those summer days. Take me back to when we used to be. It's kind of nice. It like thickens it up a little bit. Um, usually I start with a de-esser to take off some of the S's. Uh, this is recorded on my Newman U87 mic. So uh, it's kind of on the bright side. Dreaming of those summer days. Take me back to when we... So my... Uh, my um, strategy for uh, DSing is you want to DS first and then kind of go over the top and then you compress after. And the compression will bring the S's back up with an even more fast attack and release. So let's throw one of my favorite vocal compressors on there, which is the Kramer Pi. And I've actually already ran this through, um, well, it was recorded with my Avalon 737 so uh, with compression on the way in. And then I compressed it with the Manly Vox Box uh, UAD plugin, and then I compressed it again. Or no, that was the last compression. Um, but I've also ran it through the um, UAD 1073. So it's kind of on the compressed side, but we can go even more because uh, that's, that's the pop sound. Dreaming of those summer days Take me back to when we used to be together And how we heard the music play This time around I know we're gonna do it better Dreaming of those summer days Kind of has that like up in your face kind of sound because it's super compressed right now. Um, so let's Put some uh, some depth on it with a little uh, eighth note delay and some reverb and stuff, and try and open this voice up a little bit and make it sit in the track nicely. And how we heard the music play This time around I know we're gonna do it better I actually backed off that Kramer compressor a little bit It's a little too heavy Dreaming of those summer days Take me back to when we used to be together And how we heard the music play This time around I know we're gonna do it better of those summer days take me back to when we used to be together and how we heard the music play this time around i know we're gonna do it better dreaming of those summer days take me back to when we used to be together and how we heard the music play Summer days take me back to when we used to be together and how we heard the music play. This time around, I know we're gonna do it better. I mean, that's kind of the basic vibe. Um, I want to throw some echo throws on like the in between words, and we really need to actually go in and clean up the vocal. Um, so let's try that. Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty Dreaming of those summer days Okay, so this is how I like to do the delay throws, is with uh, mute automation on the send. I like to do it this way because then you can actually adjust the level of the send without messing with your automation. Days. 
so I just wanted to add certain words. Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I don't care what people say I'm dressed and fine and all the girls are looking Just gonna be those two words. Do the same for the second verse. Dreaming of those summer days Take me back to when we used to be together And how we heard the music play This time around I know You will know just where to find me Under the waterfall You know just where to find me Under the waterfall that's actually supposed to be a half note delay, so we'll use a different send for that here on the bridge. I have a half note. No, just no, just where to find me under the waterfall. No, just where to find me. Where to find me? Confirm that's uh, set up correctly here. Oh, uh, it's actually on quarter now. It's supposed to be half now. Let's make that the cassette tape set. Where to find me? Under the waterfall. Where to find me? Under the waterfall. Daydreaming. I remember how you held me. I remember how you held me. Okay, so let's actually copy um, this vocal chain to the rest of the vocal tracks. So this is kind of what I do. I'll set up the vocal chain on one track and then just duplicate it across everything. Um, there may be more efficient ways to do this, but this is kind of how I've been doing it for years. So I just go with what I know for now. Tried a couple other ways, like you can copy and paste the settings, but I mean, they're to me, they're all pretty much uh, the same as far as like difficulty and efficiency of uh, copying vocal chains in Pro Tools. Crank the plate reverb on those haze. I remember how you held me. Dreaming. Have a 
Yeah, these uh, FX vocals actually have some funny frequencies in. I'm gonna harsh those out or uh, take those. Singing, 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 singing. So the way to do this um, this uh, filter fishing frequency uh, effect is to um, you basically just want to turn the Q up of one band of an EQ and then adjust the frequency until you hear stuff that's like really poking out. And I've been doing this for years, so I just kind of know how to do it. Um, but once you find something, you turn the frequency all the way up. And then when it's like sticking out super harsh and you can't stand it, that's when you need to turn it down. So then you you turn down just in that one little spot. You can widen it a little bit, and uh, and that will make the whole thing a lot smoother. Like this one I just did here. Singing, singing, singing. You can hear when it's off, it has that like weird ring to it that's just not there when I take out this one little frequency. Singing, singing, singing. And on Fab Filter, you can actually kind of see it in the background with the analyzer. Singing, singing. But the most important thing at the end of the day is you got to use your ears. So let's copy that to this other one. Make sure these are both hitting the same way. treat those differently so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make new tracks for those we're gonna duplicate them everything except the playlists and then we'll drag this down it will have a sing Crazy. 
easy. I just switched down to my little speakers because now I have the sound kind of the way I want it. Um, so I'm going to fine tune everything on the little speakers, which is like the real world reference. Oh, yeah, and I have to go through and clean up these vocals. Um, so what I'm going to do is just listen to the lead vocals in solo. And there's like a bunch of little breaths and like weird stuff that I just need to like clean out of there or automate down. Dreaming of like that first breath we'll just get rid of. Dreaming of those summer days. Just and then these these breaths we're gonna just automate down hard. Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city. I See, when you compress it so hard, I mean, I backed off the compressor some, but I still have the other two compressors on here. When you compress it so hard like that, it just brings the breaths out like ridiculous. So you gotta kind of bring them back in when the sit into a reasonable place. When the city, I don't care what people say. I'm dressed. Otherwise, it sounds like your singer is kind of gasping for breath. I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty. It'll be a crazy summer. Bring the pop. Bring the pop. Bring the party back to life. Don't stop me till it's over. Have me dancing through the night. We'll hit the streets and paint the town. Make the best of what we can. With our heads up in the streets and paint the town. I think that paint is actually sharp. Paint the Paint. So I can uh, pitch shift that down a little bit. We'll just do sound shifter. Uh, minus one semitone. The streets and paint the town. Make the best. Make the best of what we can. With our heads up in the clouds, it will have a sing. Daydreaming. Daydreaming, dreaming of those summer days. See all these little like noises and stuff in the middle. I mean, that's what you really got to get out. That'll make your track sound super like cluttered if you don't, and and it just cleans it right up. And that's kind of the pro polish. Uh, just little things like that. Days. Take me back to when we used to be together and how we and how and you can hear it on older records too, like records from you know the nineties and earlier when they didn't have all this automation and pro tools and everything. And you can really hear those breaths on the especially on the compressed vocals, they're just like cranking out of control. Together and how we heard the music play. This time around I know we're gone. This time around, I know we're gonna do it better. It'll be a crazy summer. Bring the party back to life. Don't stop me till it's over. Have me. Have me dancing through the night. We'll hit the streets and paint the town. Beats and paint the town. Paint. paint. Streets and paint the town. Make the best of what we can. With our heads up in the clouds, it will have a singing. It will have a singing.
You will know just where to find me, find me. Under the waterfall Day Find me Under the waterfall Waterfall, daydreaming. I remember how you held me. Daydreaming. All right, so that's kind of the basic mix. I mean, now I'm just gonna throw my mastering chain on there, tweak it a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna send it out to the other guys and see what everybody wants to do with the track, and then we'll come back in for a revision session a little later. All right, so let's go over that. So um, the first thing in my chain is usually the Waves uh, API 2500, um, but I'm actually gonna switch that uh, with the UAD um, uh, math, uh, Manly Very Mew, um, and I have a, a kind of the like default setting that I use on here for mastering. Um, I switch back and forth between them because my my studio computer has the UAD stuff, but my laptop doesn't. So I try to like keep it compatible if I need to work on stuff on my laptop. But this one is um, going to be finalized on the studio computer. And kind of the same thing here with this Pro-Q2. This is a model of my GML, but I mean, the GML EQ is sitting right here. So I'll just use the actual EQ. Insert three and four. Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city um, J37 is the tape machine. Let's hear that. Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what... I really like J37 tape. It's like one of my favorite plugins. <laughs> so good. Um, I There's a the Ampeg um, or Ampex uh, UAD tape plugin also that's really good, but uh, I, I've been using the J37 more than anything else lately. And this this chain always varies, you know. I just kind of got to tweak it, you know, for for the song and just make sure to use your ears and make sure everything sounds good. Dreaming of those summer days. I like to use this BX Digital for widening, but also this mono maker will make everything mono below the frequency you set. So I have it 470, so everything below that is, is mono, and then the stereo width up here just kind of widens everything. Um, I wanted to try, there's this Waves vinyl plugin that's looking pretty cool. Dreaming of those summer days Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city I don't care what people say I'm dressing fine and all the girls are looking pretty It'll be a crazy summer Bring the party back to life Don't stop me till it's over Have me dancing through the night the streets and paint the town Make the best of what we can With our heads up in the clouds It will have a sing Summer. Bring the party back to life Don't stop me 
first draft and I'll probably do some follow-up videos to uh, show you guys what the next steps are all right thanks for watching and enjoy the the, uh, the real-time bounce because we have to do real time since we're going through analog beer
Oh, I think the the end actually got cut off a little bit on that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce it again, but I'm not gonna record that. All right.